How's it guys? Welcome back to London. Um, I forgot to sign off last night. In fact, as soon as these bad boys came out, we started playing games and uh, I just forgot that I was vlogging altogether. So I'm not even sure where I ended. We are going to make something quite exciting this morning though. French toast bites. Isn't that right, Rory? We're gonna try. We're gonna try. And we might even try and make some candied bacon dust. That's something I want to try and make, but we'll see. We might just leave it as bacon, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so what you do is instead of making normal French toast, you just cut it before. There we go. And that's the whole recipe. You basically just cut your bread into little squares like this. You make your uh, egg and milk mixture, which is going to go in there. You dunk all of that in there. We're going to put some cinnamon in the mixture itself, and then you just fry them up in butter. We have decided against baking the bacon and turning it into bacon dust, and instead we're just going to fry the bacon, and then we can fry some of these guys in the residual bacon fat. So bread went in there. We've already done our first batch, and they go into the pan. It's basically French toast, but just more finicky and easier to eat. But nuggety, nom 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 nom. Exactly, this is the chicken nugget version of chicken breasts. I mean, what? <laughs> this is to this is to chicken breasts. This is to French toast. What chicken nuggets are to chicken breasts. Or chicken schnitzel. So these bad boys are done. We can remove them. Rory's working on the second batch as we speak. But unfortunately, we don't actually have any butter. So we were relying on the bacon fat and now there is not a lot left. So we'll see how the second batch goes. It might be quite dry. Oh well. So I had to leave Rory in a bit of a rush um, just because after we ate I realized what the time was and I have to get back to Sav because we are driving into the countryside. Um, Phil's gonna drive us in his car and we are gonna go check out. I'm not sure what it's called but I believe it's Heston Blumenthal's restaurant or pub or something that's not the fat duck. It might be the fat duck, but I don't think it is. Yeah, we're gonna go there, because you can get triple, his triple fried chips, which uh, I'm hoping just comes with something and it's not a whole portion. We'll see what it is, what it entails, and what we're gonna get. As for now, beep into the metro. Let's go. A little bit of Sunday league football at the park. Let's see. Come on. Oh, good clearance. Sure. Number one is angry. Why does that sign say caution duck or grouse? Is it a caution for duck or grouses? Grease. Grease. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, here we are, the hind's head in Bray. Bray is the area, right? The town. I'm guessing. It's the Heston Blumenthal's restaurant. So his really famous one, the Fat Duck, is just here. Which is obviously like very, very fancy food. You know? It's like fine dining. But this is like a pub lunch. Pub lunch. Oh, lovely. Got some gin and tonic cocktails here. This was the monk. What, which one was it? This is monkey 40... Seven. Monkey 47. One of the monkey gins. Monkey gin. <laughs> Pour this in there. Beautiful. Oh, look at the fizzy. Focusing. I can't focus on both things. So. Yeah. Here is the lunch menu. I'm going for a scotch egg with the mustard mayonnaise and then oxtail and kidney pudding with the triple cooked chips. And here you go. Here's the little scotch egg with the little mustard mayonnaise. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Sab went for the Sunday roast. Over there we've got the 10 ounce steaks, ribeyes. And then over here, we've got my little pudding, the oxtail and kidney, I believe it was, with the triple fried chips. Good gravy? Good gravy. You might mistake this for us being on our way home, but we've actually decided to come to Windsor. Windsor Castle is somewhere, hey? Pakistan, yeah. Uh, Windsor Castle, this I believe form, forms part of it, maybe, I don't know, or we're down there somewhere. But we're just busy paying for parking and then we're gonna, we're gonna go, and it's freezing. It is freezing. There it is. There we go. It's the castle. Windsor Castle. 
popped into this little tea house to get some takeaway something. And how's this? I didn't realize it was legal here, but these people are offering up guanjua and mango. Yeah, bruh. Gotcha. Just walking through the streets of Windsor now. We didn't end up getting anything from this place. What was it called? Madame Posh. Changed the name to Madame Need to Wait 10 Minutes for a Takeaway Chai Latte. Which and it's funny that they're called Madame Posh when they have a, a printed picture of a carpet on the floor as opposed to a real carpet. Yeah, their carpet was a picture of a carpet. <laughs> we found ourselves a bit of a fun fact here. Queen Charlotte Street, which is the street that we're on, is 51 feet 10 inches in length and is recorded as the long as the <laughs> the longest shortest and it's recorded as the shortest street in Britain. There we go, that's the start, well that's the end, and that's the start, well that's the end. Just like that. In all of Britain. On our way back, Sav and I have jumped out. It might be of... noisier than our road in Paris. Oh, quite actually might be. But Sav and I have jumped out of the moving vehicle to come to a little store here and pick up some treats. Uh, we're back in the area. You'll see a plane going over soon enough. Ah, so tired. So tired. Mm -hmm.